nah, I'll come in whenever I want. So you are what you are in this world. That's either one or two things. Either you're somebody, or you're nobody. I'll be right back. What's happening, YouTube? Back on the motherfucking hunt. Looking for a young lady, man. I don't know what's the deal, man. These people, these people know who I am, but they continue to miss court. So it is what it is. You know, she's supposed to be working at a tanning booth. You know, I'm, a, I'm a, with, the, with the young folks. I'm gonna blow down. I'm gonna see if she's working. I'm gonna give her a ring. You know, she and them will go in there. You know, maybe catch a tan or two. If not, you know, fucking stay black. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we about to head over. It's fucking nasty. I was raining. I'm, I'm moist out here, no homo, because my cameraman's a man, so you can't tell another man he's moist. You gotta say no homo with that shit. But it's extra moist out here, guys. <laughs> moist as fuck! But, uh, we about to see what it do, man. You know, back in the streets of Akron. Got a quick tip um, about a person I'm looking for. She's supposedly at work. If you're on a fucking run, why would you go to work? So, I, mean, I don't fucking know. But I'm about to make sure she's there. I'm going to call and act like I'm making an appointment for tanning or some shit. And then, um, if she's there, we're going to snatch her. So, let's see, let's see what pops up. I'm about to Google the number. We're, li I'm, we're literally across the street from, this, from, the, from the place we're going. So, let's see. <laughs> Yes, what are you what are you guys tanning prices? It differs. Um we have level one, two, three beds. And we have weeks, three months, six months. What is the six what about the six months packages? They're like uh, what kind of level bed? Like a be a better bed or I'm gonna be honest. Or we have the or we have minute sessions which you can buy um um buy them in uh 120 minutes or 240 minutes. Okay. But the uh, six months for our silver, for our level one bed is $210. The second bed is $290 for six foot. And then our best bed for six months is 375 375 Okay, when, when can I come in and sign up? Um, wherever you want. We're open. Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 8.30, and then Saturday, we're only open till 4. 4 o'clock. Okay, thank you. What's your name? Jessica. Okay, thanks a lot. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. It was her. Sometimes you get those easy ones. Let's go. Dumbass. No, <laughs> no, she, she wasn't ready, she wasn't ready. No, I am. Why would you wear it? I didn't. I didn't miss court. You did miss court. No, I didn't. I don't have court until the 10th. I missed my. I didn't do my pre-trial release. I missed it. No, I didn't. I know for now. See, my pre-trial officer. I didn't miss court. I go to court the 10th. My pre-trial. I swear. I didn't miss court. 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 I did
I just found out about my but I just found out about the warrant probably like two days ago, three days ago. Don't you think you should have called me? I don't know who to call. You know who I am, so that's your question. I mean, obviously, because I have every in I have had every intention of going to court. I'm not mad. I didn't miss court. You missed court. <sighs> I need to sweat my, sweat my ass off. You don't have any money, though. You want to take what you do. Um, you sure? I don't want to take any of my stuff, though. Into the jail? Here? I have, yeah, that and. Can I just show you? Shit, there's my fucking boss. Seem like a sweet girl, but you miss court. I still, I, I want you to call and look that up because I did not miss court. You miss court. Even my attorney, call my attorney. I talked to him. Well, your attorney lied. Well, somebody got something confused because you definitely missed court. I just miss court. Think I, about it. I wouldn't be here. I go to tip because I violated the pretrial, right? They wouldn't, no. I mean, you probably did violate the pretrial. I did. Pre I quit. I quit. I didn't go see him the last couple times. They're not going to send me. But that's, I didn't They're not going to forfeit. Court. They're not going to forfeit the bond for me to come get you because you failed your P-test. I mean, you No, know not because I failed my P-test because I didn't go see him. Because you didn't go see him. Uh, I mean. Because I know I did his court. I have every, I have had every. Either way it go, you didn't do what you were supposed see, to do. See, he's supposed to pick me up. Well, you didn't do what you were supposed to do. So you stopped seeing him. Whatever it is the case, you didn't stop seeing him. But, it is what it is. Just get it over with. I mean, it's not nothing serious. Go to court, get your bond, get out, and continue the life. You going what? I'm going to be fired. She's not going to fire you. She's not going to fire you. She's saying nice. I told him it wasn't nothing serious. I told him it wasn't nothing crazy. You all right? I'll go in there and give her a hug or something. Or something. Sign an autograph. You'll be all right. I'll give her a call. I'll give her. This is what I do. I'll give her a call afterwards and tell him it was a misunderstanding. You didn't know you missed court, whatever it is, and but, there it is. Okay? Everybody fucks up. I mean, that's not, I'm worried because I'm not going to, I don't think anyone's going to fucking get me out tomorrow. I mean. I ain't got no family. I mean. Maybe she'll get you off. You're a good worker. You're a good worker? Yeah. You're about to be manager, right? Yeah. But she then might, she might she get, get you out. She got a new job. She might get you out. She might just take she, it out of your she, check. She's only 18. She might get you out. You never know. You never know. You know? <sighs> so. It is what it is, man. Let's get out of here. The truth to tell, you know, people, you know, kids is just, just, just out there having the same drug problem, man. Tell them to get help. And tell them it's all right to, look, you know, to reach out for help. You're going to do that favor for me because I did you a favor with your job. I could have left. 
Okay. Somebody could have robbed that motherfucker and you've been bad. You've been all fucked. Just tell me. Hey, how did you, hey, she was she was on heroin. She's now you're off, right? I was on it for six years. Six years, I'm you're now year off. Clean. Over a year clean. Congratulations, but now you've transitioned to another drug you're trying to get off, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. How Stay away from you? drugs. 27. 27. All right. Awesome. If you're getting, hey, there's an epidemic out here in Akron. It's okay to reach out for help, okay? No matter what age you is, everyone's, it's, it's a bad epidemic out here, man. If you're having issues with drugs, do not be afraid to reach out. You can get off, all right? She was on heroin for six years, and that's one of the hardest things to get off. She is now off, correct? Yes. Okay. I lost my brother and my uncle. Same thing, heroin? Wow. All with me, it's not shit. So, hey, seek for help, man. This shit is a real problem out here, yo. So, anything you want to tell, you want to tell some kids out there? Stay away from drugs. Yeah, hey, stay away from drugs, man. All drugs. Cliche. All drugs, eating all weed. Drugs. I mean, yeah. We not a drug. We not a drug. We not a drug. Turning a Jessica Heisler back into custody, a bondsman, Frank Frazier. Alright, come on in. Okay. I'll come under here. Okay. Oh. She was she was a pretty nice girl, man, you know. She didn't look like she was on heroin for six years. Most people look dead. So, you know, it is what it is. I'm about to be getting tans now, you know. Brush up on my sexy skin, you know. Shout out to the tanning people. Don't forget, I'm coming back for that motherfucking tan. Don't think I don't need no tan. Shit. Fuck you up, dog. <laughs> yeah, man. To be honest, I, I kind of, you know, felt bad for the girl, man. She's a young girl, you know, good looking girl, man. You know, trying to, seem like she was trying to do right at a job, but man, it is what it is. You can't run from shit. You gotta handle it, so. I told her, you know, she get out, I'll help her out. You know, I'm always willing to help people. You know, as um, long as they willing to give back, give a little message to kids. I mean, sometimes people want to just see someone come out and be open with, hey, I was on drugs for this, this much. That's enough to give someone enough confidence to just express it to someone. It might save someone's life. So, you know, some of you might be like, well, you making her do that? Because that might save someone's life. You know what I'm saying? To see someone that looks like that, that was on drugs for so long, and, you know, they got off of it, you know, that might inspire someone to try to get some help. You know, she lost two family members off heroin, so. And heroin is, is like I said, it's an epidemic out here, Cleveland, Akron, but it's everywhere, you know, it's, the shit is bad everywhere, so. You know, we'll, uh, hopefully, you know, she get her, you know, get her shit together. You know, but, uh, at least I, you know, I just, I, I, I try to help, man. I like to give back, you know.